what I do as a spiritual guidance mentor is I seek to help individuals attain greater clarity, a greater understanding, and just overall higher spiritual awareness to their challenging situations and incidents that they may find themselves in. Um, I also like to help individuals become better informed when they're making, have to make tough decisions, when they find themselves in those crisis moments, those turning points, whether it's a turning point due to great news or there's a turning point rather due to some unpleasant news, but you got to make a decision. And so you need to be better informed about what is at stake, what is happening in, based on who you are, your greater design and your God-given destiny, your God-given purpose. And as a mentor, I'm not seeking to give being a coach to help you reach your goals. I'm not seeking to be a therapist to help you resolve your trauma. I'm just seeking to be able to allow myself to be a vessel um, of spirit to help bring through me greater understanding for your situation and for your own personal peace uh, for you uniquely to you. And so I'm not uh, uh, an authority. I'm just a mentor. So the tarot is is one of the most misunderstood, um, uh, bad reputation um, pieces of art that I know of. Um, the tarot has been used for divination for so many centuries now that it's it's, it's most people uh, view the tarot as witchcraft, um, and it probably is used in witchcraft. It probably could be used for evil intent, but every single art in our history can be used for evil intent, including the Bible. There has been a lot of deathly and negative uses of the Bible uh, to bring people to death and to uh, promote a lot of negative injustices on this planet. But for me, the tarot is a tool that I use as a piece of art to just help me stimulate and focus my mind in where I feel like the Holy Spirit wants me to pay attention to. So let's talk about the, the history of the tarot. So the history of the tarot actually is uh, originated in Egypt and Samaria. Um, and so it was, it was, it's hieroglyphics. All uh, the tarot, the tarot is just hieroglyphics basically is, 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 is pictures that convey a meaning or convey a story. Um, over the centuries, it, it, it made its way into Europe um, through Egyptians who were outcasted from Egypt uh, at the turn of different empires that came through. And these people are known but by the nickname of Egyptians as gypsies. So I'm not sure if, if, if most people are aware that gypsies or the term gypsy is short for Egyptians and Egyptians who had left uh, out, of, out of some type of persecution or as refugees into Europe. And they brought with them um, the hieroglyphic systems that they used for their spiritual study, but became also a form of divination. How do you know what type of service do you need in order to work with me? So if you are, if you are lost in a specific situation or a challenging uh, circumstance and you have very specific questions that you really won't answer, that you really won't get a higher insight on from spirit, um, you, can, you can choose to request what I call a three to four or a topic tarot reading. And that way you have a very specific question that you just say, hey Adam, I just wanna know about this particular situation. I just wanna know what the spirit's saying about this particular uh, incident in my life. If you're just overall just wanting to have a sense of, of, of conversation and get some guidance as a mentor and just to your overall life and overall situation, a more deeper, greater awareness of understanding without a specific focus, then you may be interested in booking or a, a spiritual guidance mentoring session with me. And maybe after three sessions, uh, we can just help you feel a sense of more peace, a better alignment with your overall purpose and your more cosmic design. Another service that I, I've become, I'm becoming very, very fond of and has become very popular is what I call a basic human design conversation, uh, which is based upon the human design science or the human design system or the science of differentiation um, that was founded by Robert Rahu in the late 80s. And this is a system that combines six ancient modalities. Uh, including the Kabbalah, the I Ching, the chakra system, and astrology. And it helps you understand, based on your time of birth, your um, God-given design that helps you expose you to what is in you that needs to be fulfilled for you to find your greatest sense of fulfillment. And it also helps you understand what gifts and talents you have to offer to the world. It also goes as deep as telling you what's the best um, way to eat your food and diet type. It also discovers things about how to, what are gonna be the best ways for you to approach relationships and your sexuality. So the human design basic conversation is something I really like to facilitate. And if you're looking for just a better understanding of who you are, I definitely encourage you to consider that.